Man, I went climbing yesterday and I f***ed up my shoulder. It hurts like hell. Yeah, but, <laughs> oh, good day. Good day. What is up guys, Alex Caves here and welcome to another Studio Caves Daily. As you can see, that is up and it is staying up. It's, it's incredible. And this did take a lot of time, but oh my God, it's totally worth it. Like I can't stop staring at it. I haven't noticed any sound difference yet, but you know, I just wanted to make it look good. So I still got two more pieces left, which I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with, but in this could be something to sell as a product because this shape, especially with the angles and everything, with, with the sticky on the back. That could be a pretty viable product. I'm gonna see what I can do with this. Possibly, you know, find, find a manufacturer that creates these foam pieces and see if they're able to create this shape because this really expands your creativity when it comes to fashioning your wall the way you want it. And it's practical. Two of the best things in one. Then that would save you time. You can just buy a piece like this with the sticky and everything. So all you have to do is just peel it Figure out the pattern that you want to do, put it together, stick it on the wall, good to go. Now that would be an awesome product. And if you think so too, comment below, say yes, like this video, you know, just let me know somehow. But anyways, uh, so today, my next plan of action is of course the, oh, I can't use my right shoulder, the, the curtains that's gonna go on either side of this wall here, just so it balances it out. So I got some moving blankets that are black. I might need to punch some grommets on there to hang it, but uh, that might be something I do today. I also need to focus on editing, but uh, you know, this is getting so close. I should just finish it up. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I'm loving that. It's a nice, cold, slightly foggy day. It's open. There's my moving blankets. These are charms. Ow. Just need two. Let's go into the garage. Garage. Yeah. In this box right here, under the pile of stuff, I have some fabrics and sewing stuff, and I should have a grommet punching, uh, how do you say, die. So I need to dig that out and then I can start, I'll probably sweep the floors too. Flip flops and uh, just punch some out real quick right here. Should have plenty of grommets. Okay. Oh, it is so freaking cold. I need to put more clothes on. Oops. Okay. The plan is to poke holes. I don't know, maybe three of them along the top edge here. And to do that, we are going to use this grommet die. You know how you see like on tarps or whatever, there's these uh, little metal rings. This is how you do it. I can't use gloves. This is all my crap from building a backpack. Okay, I have a few types. I have a white one or a stainless steel one. I got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I can do all white. So this is what the blanks look like. It's just a, an opening that you have to crimp, basically. I believe it's been a while. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I think I gotta cut this first. Just enough to have an opening, and then you can feed it through around there so that this pokes out. And then I have to crimp this sharp edge with one of these 
battering rams. You just hammer that. What I don't want to do is mess up these stitching, so I'm gonna poke a hole right there. And to start the cut, I'm gonna use a hole punch, and I'm gonna switch it to the biggest. <sighs> Grab my scissors. Okay, I want the good side down. And I'm laying on this blanket the right way. So we are good. Push that in. Put this guy on top. Squish it down. Where's my hammer? And you guys ready for this? Done. <laughs> there you go. Got your grommet. All right, let's keep moving on. See, really, you want to see me mostly, don't you? Ouch. Okay. So, the next step is to drill some hanging points up on the, the edges there. Ow. Just start with that. Why am I doing stuff that requires my shoulder? I'm gonna use my left hand. See how it looks from afar. Check it out. It is nicely framed. Boom. Oh, that looks so good. It is a studio. Yo, check this out. Oh my gosh. Loving it, loving it. Now I just gotta fill this, populate this whole thing with stuff. And then even if I poke out a little bit, I'm not gonna see a white line. So. When I'm filming on this, I'll probably be, you know, way out here like this. It's gonna look good. I'm loving it. Yes. <laughs> it's about the right size too. I love it. Everything's just fitting perfectly. 
I'm very happy to have you on this journey. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel because that helps me out a ton. Like this video if you liked, and if you have any questions about the progression of this little setup here, comment in the box below and I would love to answer your questions. We're constantly self-reflecting, improving what we do, and sharing our story along the way. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. I got tons of editing to do, so I'm gonna call it good right here. Peace, have a nice weekend.